In a corporate environment, particularly in financial services, you're always in meetings, you're constantly having to reply to emails. You leave the office at eight, nine o'clock at night and you're completely cooked. And that's, I suppose, uh, the journey of, of innovation, if you like, started from that point. Before I left Australia 10 years ago, I had really bad chronic fatigue. My body was completely run down. And so my path into yoga was a very practical sense of how do I get from a place that's not working to a place where my body is you know, fully alive and supportive and allows me to live the life I want. Frank had talked to me about a bit of his personal journey. So I decided to take a break. But what I found when I went to Bali and I started doing yoga is when you have simplicity, you get so much um, creativity and clarity of thought. You know, and I would be coming out of yoga class and writing down three or four ideas I had in the class. If I'm going to carry on you know, in, in financial services, I'm going to have to do things differently. Um, and it just so happened, I mean, it was a complete co coincidence in some ways that Frank was finishing up his contract on the, on the Friday and I was due to start again on the Monday. So, you know, early in the day I was leaving and then now I've decided to stay. So we have a kickoff meeting at six o'clock um, with our boss. And Andy was saying, absolutely no way, we can't be in the building anymore. As soon as that was agreed, I took that as an, as an opportunity to say, right, we're going to do things differently. I went home that night and I thought, Andy's got absolutely no chance of doing this. And I phoned up Andy, I said, I'm glad you're back, but, you know, probably see you later. Come Monday, and Andy's got his his way of being out of the building, out of the city. In fact, actually, we set up office over the other side of the river. Very, very good reasons for that. Actually, if we're going to do innovation and look at different ways of doing things, solving problems, big corporate problems, in a new way, actually, of course, the environment needs to be different to facilitate that. There is absolutely no way. I want to go back into that old way of working because it just doesn't make sense to me. You're seeing companies now start up with no infrastructure, no physical offices. The government's just brought in flexible working um, rules. And then Andy had this crazy idea that let's just stop kind of using this corporate email as a means of communication. You know, let's either talk to people, go and see them, but let's not do this kind of email banter. But I remember somewhere once reading that, if you go on holiday, it takes you at least two weeks to properly start distressing from your typical environment and all of the sort of cues you respond to. I'd say that's absolutely true. It took me about three weeks to wean myself off the email addiction and the sort of typical company way of doing things. It just sort of unfolded really. I wouldn't say we had a grand plan, but it was more principles and similar thinking that allowed it to happen really. Employees who've worked in an unhappy environment in an industry that's got bad PR and, and press, they're literally just leaving to go and do something more meaningful, except they haven't had to become a yoga teacher. They've gone into the financial domain, so they haven't had to start again. And that for me is what FinTech was all about. But what we found in this community was everyone was very open. They weren't, they weren't secretive. They weren't hiding their ideas or anything like that. And they also like learned from one another. Um, we saw some great stuff and I just took a lot of inspiration from that community. The reality is actually by solving stubborn problems in a new way, you need a different way of working. But what we found is that, especially in the mornings, like in the shared workspace, most of them didn't start till sort of 9.30 or whatever. In that time in the mornings, we had a good solid hour and a half together, which sometimes would just literally draw out our thinking, capture it within an hour and a half. Now that's probably equivalent to a day and um, maybe two in an office environment. Our work day is the whole of the day now, but I'm not forced to do it, I choose to do it because unlike before, I really enjoy what I'm doing. I can see the benefits, the benefits to around me, and we're actually making a difference this time. We delivered this project on time, on budget, which hardly ever happens. So if you look at all of the stuff, I just think that the future is in a more flexible uh, way. I think that you can, get better results faster by being away from the corporate um, environment. Um, I really do believe that. I believe working in partnerships is an essential thing. And we could go back into the workplace and you know, talk to people and do some communications and training courses and set up a blog and communicate our message. 
But actually there's something very powerful about learning to be truly authentic in who you are, how you communicate, and not being sort of boxed into certain ways of behaving due to fear or, or you know, lack of self-esteem. It'll be very much applying our learnings to some corporate problem for someone that is inspired by our story and wants to do things differently.